is Laura and welcome back to my channel. So I'm in the middle of doing a vlog today and I headed out, I don't know when I have this posted because it's going to be separate. So I headed out to get my hair done. I needed to get my roots touched up and the grease and all of that. So in that vlog video, I talked a little bit about how I wasn't one, sure what I wanted to do with the blonde and if it made sense to like continue to maintain it. So um, what we decided to do was actually put a toner on it and just to tone it down. Um, I think one of the things that I realized is when my hair was that bright and like blondy color, it made my skin tone look yellow. And I actually do have like undertones of yellow in my skin tone. So like anytime I buy a foundation, I have to buy like a warm foundation, but it just made it even more yellow. So I think dark is better for me, but I will tell you that this is not the color we anticipated it being. Um, I did not expect to come out this brown today. And um, as we were drying it, my hairdresser's like, oh, this is darker than, than this was supposed to be. So I think just my hair like sucked up all of the, the toner that we put on it and it ended up with this darker color. But we think that after a couple washings, it'll um, it'll fade to like, well, the toner will wash out to like um, the color that we hoped it would be. Anyways, so in that vlog video, I talked about how I just finished up at the gym and I was gonna head over to the Dollar Tree and see if they had anything new. I did not go to the Dollar Tree. I actually went to Five Below instead because there's a Five Below and a Dollar Tree there. And I just wanted to see like kind of what new stuff they had. And also I was looking for like a couple of electronic-y things. So I'm just gonna do a quick Five Below haul here in the car with my wet, slightly wet head. And I'll take you through and show you what I got. So the first thing that I got here, I told you I needed some electronic stuff and this is kind of boring, but it is a four port type C hub, right? Super boring, right? So my work computer is an, I, it's a, a Mac Pro, MacBook Pro. And MacBook Pros do not have USB ports on them anymore. They don't have HDMI ports or anything like that. So I do have a, a doodad that plugs in that stays in my office at work. And it has an HDMI port on it and a couple of USB ports. So for five bucks, I thought I would give this a go. It only has the USB on here, which should be fine. I don't really need the HDMI stuff unless I'm like specifically doing something um, where I'm broadcasting things on my computer or onto a screen. So I wish they did have the other one, but I got this just in case. Um, I think especially for home when I need it, if I just keep this one at home and I keep the other one at work, I should be fine. So moving on. The next thing I got, I, I have seen these for around, so Five Below always has a ton of they have, they have a bunch of electronic stuff that's, you know, $5, $6, $7 and under. And I have been curious to see like what I would think about an over the ear headphone. So I don't really care about headphones. Like I'm not one of those audiophiles who's like, oh, I have to have like the beautiful like tone and sound of my music and all of that bullshit. I don't care about that. But what I do like is, um, especially on planes, to be able to plug in to the, I don't wanna buy their like shitty headphones for $2. So I like to have a pair of, um, of headphones that have just a regular port in it that I can plug in and listen. So last time I bought a pair, like I thought I bought a decent pair. I bought a pair for like 20 bucks at one of those mall stores like a couple of trips ago. And as I was flying back from Spokane on Friday, the one ear just broke, stopped working. And so I'm like, well, shit, like what's the point? You know, like I spent $20 on these. This is kind of stupid that I spent $25 on earbuds and they break after like four uses. So I might as well spend $5 on a pair. So I also like these for when I'm editing. So like if I want to sit downstairs while other people are watching things and I can edit my videos on my computer, then um, I want to have that. Yeah, the MacBook Pro doesn't have a USB port, but got a your port. So I'm going to give these ones a try. I figured for five bucks, you know, if they suck, then they were five dollars. So I picked up these ones here. I don't know. And I also might just hate an over the ear headphone. Who knows? 
So to go along with that, I also got a pair of regular earbuds. So these are copper metal traditional earbuds, just the plain old earbuddy doodad. And uh, they were also $5. So I figure if I hate the over the ear ones, then I have the earbuds. And if I like them both, then I have two pairs for when one inevitably breaks. Um, there's a lot of people at work. I know a lot of people who are loving on the earbuds, like the, the AirPods. I don't get it. So the last version of the AirPods, the ones that didn't have, not the, not the pros, but the ones that didn't have that little like plasticky thing. I cannot keep Apple earphones in my ear. So I have a couple of pairs that have come with phones that came with my iPad, things like that. I can't keep them in my ear. I don't know. There's something about the shape of my ear and the way that goes that they just literally fall out. And I have that issue with a lot of different earbuds too. Like I have a problem keeping them in my ear. So like the ones that I have for running, they're over the ears that fit in. Cause otherwise, like I've been running with other ear pods, air pods, ear pods, whatever before. And they just literally like, they'll be running in the fall out of my ear. So I don't, and, and apples are the worst for me. So I see people loving on them and I can't get with it. Also like, I mean, those things fall out of my ear so easily. Like next thing I know it'd be like $200 gone. So $5 dollar um at the five below and it'll be fine all right let's see what else did i get i also kid stuff i think this is all kid stuff yeah mostly kid stuff okay so they're starting to butt out their easter stuff so i wanted to pick up a couple of things from morgan's easter basket now instead of having like before everything gets gone and i don't have to like worry about it so the first thing i did get was this um these are unicorn bubbles. She loves bubbles. Girlfriend loves her some bubbles, 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 bubbles. So we've had these before and these are cool. It's like a thicker bubble juice and it's a super small like bubble thing and you blow it and it makes bubbles that you can like touch. So these were a dollar and I know she's gonna like these. So I'm gonna put that into her Easter basket. I also did find this blind bag. This is a Frozen 2 blind bag that has a lip balm inside. The girl loves her some lip balm and she loves her some Elsa. So figured for two bucks you can get a lip balm. Even at Dollar Tree yesterday they had the lip balms but for a dollar. And you could see what they were. Let's see. And then I also got this. This is another blind bag of a Frozen surprise necklace. The girl loves her a necklace. So three bucks is a little pricey for probably what you get in there but I thought it would be cool it'd be cute and fun to open then I also got her this I don't know what this is but all I know is it's a banana and it has a cushy in it a cushy ring and a sticker and some gemstones so I don't know what the hell that is I don't know what a cushy is but it's a banana with some crap inside of it and I'm like I want to see what kind of crap is inside that banana so this was not $5. I think this was like $3.99. But I thought it was cute, so I'll put it in there. Um, I got her like a blind bag from the Dollar Tree, and it was supposed to have like a fingerling, and then it had a bracelet and a ring in there. And that girl could have cared less about the fingerling. She just wanted the bracelet and the ring. So we'll see what she thinks about that one. I'm going to save my piece de resistance for the end. So I did, I love hitting up the candy section at Five Below. Because remember, I am an old woman when it comes to candy. I love old lady candy. So I got, these were the four for a dollar, and these are the Chico Sticks. So I don't know exactly what they call a Chico Stick. It says crunchy peanut butter rolled in toasted coconut. So I don't know if that's because this is a southern thing, but up north, you call that a Zagnut, okay? And so, I think it must be regional because when I say Zagnut, a lot of people don't know what the hell I'm talking about. But so the Clark Candy Company started in Pittsburgh. Da -da -da, get it right? So Clark bars are that um, that peanut butter crispy like layered stuff, and then it's covered in chocolate. A Zagnut is the peanut buttery thing, then covered in coconut, like these Chico sticks, right? So these are Zagnut just in circles. I don't know how they're getting away with it, but it tastes really similar and I love me a Zagnut bar. So I have four for a dollar there. And then these ones were the 10 for a dollar. 
10 pieces for a dollar. And some of these pieces are bullshit, like just one Sour Patch Kid. Anyways, so in here I got some, I got some bit o honey, right? Because I'm an old woman, I got me some bit o honey. I got some Swedish fish in here, some Twizzlers, a little peanut chew, just a little something, something. Sweet something. Okay. So the last thing I got. So I was looking through the toy section, and they had like all kinds. So they have like WWE, it's WWE now, right? Back when I was a kid, it was WWF. So they had like WWE wrestlers and then they had blind bags, but then they also had like old school wrestlers, like the wrestlers that were popular when I was a kid, like, and that was a long time ago. And we were talking like late eighties, early nineties wrestlers. So I saw these. And I about lost my mind. So this says muscle. And I don't know if you can see in here who's here. So this is like Hacksaw Jim Duggan, right? Who, oddly enough, was at, um, why I just turned on my wipers? Oh, no, turn on my back wiper. Anyways. So Hacksaw Jim Duggan, who comes to, like, Comic-Con. Anyways. And then you got Sergeant Slaughter right here, right? And then you have what I bought this for right here. You see that? That's Million Dollar Man. Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, was my favorite wrestler as a child. Why? He was a total dick, right? But he was my favorite, like by far. And there is a Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, little thing right here. And I got so excited because for $325, that is worth my $325. So, I'll tell you a little story. There is a Ted DiBiase, Million Dollar Man documentary on Amazon Prime. So it wasn't on Prime before. It was just regular and you had to like pay $3 to rent it or $5. And I was like, no, that that is free. Like I should get that free on Amazon Prime. So I'm gonna wait. So I had it on my watch list and I was waiting and waiting and waiting for the Million Dollar Man documentary to go Amazon Prime so I could watch it for free. And it finally did. And I was so excited. I'm like, oh my God, I got Million Dollar Man. Anyways, so we started to watch it. It wasn't good. It wasn't good. It was all about how Ted DiBiase found the Lord. And I am, I mean, good for him that he found the Lord. I mean, God bless. Um, but it was about his journey to Christ. And I was just hoping for a little more debauchery. Like I wanted to see like that 1990, like 88, like asshole, like dude doing some asshole things or like some redemption arc or something like I wanted to see like how he be he was an asshole and then he was like redeemed and now he's not but it was none of that it was all like hi I found the Lord immediately and I'm not a dick anymore and I was I was devastated because I'm an asshole and I was just devastated that there was no like arc for me to watch and so I made it like 15 minutes and I was super sad like, I mean, like, good for him. Like, I'm glad I'm like, good. Like, he found the Lord, and that's fantastic. But this Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, has not found the Lord yet. yet. So this one, he's still an asshole, which is why I like it. So that was my small rant about the WWE, WWF, and Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, and a uh, Five Below haul. So if you like videos like this where I just rant about random shit, then you're in luck because I'm going to keep doing it. So go ahead and hit that like button and that subscribe button. I will talk to y'all soon. <laughs> Bye.